Hello, my name is Hans, W1JSB, and this is my most recent Radio Set Go project. This one for the 20 meter band. And this is basically a Small Wonders Lab SW20 with some modifications and enhancements. It's built into a watertight enclosure. And I'll go ahead and turn it on and go through a few of the features and then we'll make a contact and I can demonstrate some of the functions. So t uh, turning it on, the, the keyer sends FB, fine business, meaning that the keyer circuitry is working fine. That's the keyer circuit right there. And that's for the touch keyer on this side. Uh, the way that you send code with this is simply uh, touching those two end caps and on the other side is an LCD um, LED, sorry, LED indicator, battery indicator for the voltage of the lith internal lithium ion battery this one is a uh, 6800 milliamp hour so it will last quite a while between charges um, yeah, let's see I'd, I'd say probably about a week or so between charges of um, a casual, you know, a contact or two, maybe three or four a day if they're short. Um, okay, on top, on the panel here, the plexiglass panel, there's a LCD frequency readout, and below that is a small speaker which is uh, operates with the internal one watt. Um, audio amplifier with the volume control right there. Um, this is the charge port. I have an. Ex it also provides 12 volts or whatever voltage is in the battery for accessories such as what I have plugged in here, and I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, so this is the primary volume control. This is RF gain. This is uh, for the keyer. The keyer has many menu settings and. Uh, memories. For example, I can send my call sign with one touch of this button. Uh, and I can change the volume of the side tone, which is the how loud it is when I key. For example, I can turn that way down if I wanted to. Or I can have it full. I can turn it up even more if I turn the audio amp so the speaker is pretty strong, even for the le for the small size, it's pretty loud if you want it to be. Uh, the RF gain is good. Um, turn it up all the way, and this receiver is pretty hot on on these SW rigs. Um, I just sold a 40 meter version, and I had a 10 turn pot for tuning. This one is just the standard, which is fine. You get the whole. I have this one calibrated cover the whole 20 meter band. Uh, this is the BNC antenna connection and this is for the speed. Uh, see if I can do this. It's hard to record and do this but uh, for example uh, and different combinations between the memory key and and the touch keys do different things. For example if I wanted to send CQ I just go like this, and it will do a loop. It's sending CQ, CQ, calling anyone from W1JSB. Sends it a few times, and then and then waits. Uh, I think three or four seconds, and then it sends again. So it's kind of nice, especially especially if I'm out um, setting set up portable, and there aren't too many people on the band, and I just want to set the radio up and call CQ and walk away, it takes pictures or something, and if I hear someone call me I can run back to the radio. Um, let me set that again and I'll show you the vo uh, speed control. So it's calling CQ. This is this controls the speed and it goes down to five words per minute uh, or maybe even less, it's very slow. All the way up to all the way up to fifty words per minute. 
so pretty good. It's nice to have that control, that the ability to control that so easily and quickly. No menu settings or any, um, nothing to go through like with like the 817 or the menu driven radios. Okay, um, if you do the sequence, if you do this sequence, uh, da 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 da, enough times, it will go into tuning mode and it will send a continuous key down. So, and if you look on the meter here, this is putting out two watts, two watts of RF output. So that's pretty good. And that will, I can either turn it off by interrupting it like that, or it'll turn off by itself after a few seconds. Okay, so. Um, I have this on a dummy load. I'm not transmitting anything right now. That was just to, to demonstrate the, the functions of this radio. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to an antenna and we'll try and work a station. There's a Canadian contest happening right now. I'll show you how this zero beat indicator works. Um, switch over to an antenna. Find a strong one. So this is, uh, let me go ahead and explain this uh, tuning indicator. It's just like a guitar tuning aid, if you've ever, if you've ever used one. Uh, it'll tell you if you are tuned too sharp or too flat, and you can adjust accordingly. Uh, so this is something that I built. It uh, uses the audio external output where you would normally plug in a uh, headphones, if you're going to use headphones or earphones. Uh, so you can tap into that. And also for the charge port, that also doubles an, as an accessory port. So you can run anything that uh, runs on about 12 volts from that. Uh, you have to keep in mind that your battery will be drained a little bit faster, depending on what you're using. I forgot to explain too that if you don't want to use this touch keyer, you can use an external keyer. You can use, <clears throat> excuse me, you can use a straight key. Um, uh, most of you probably know what a straight key is, but if not, I'll show you a basic one. Get this out here. That's a straight key. It's not hooked up to anything, but it's how, you, it's how they used to send. Well, they still, some people still do. I enjoy it sometimes sending that way, just um, manually. Um, or you can plug in a different type of electronic here and paddle combination, or what I like to do is use a something called a rig blaster that has a CW out and I can actually key the radio using a program called CW type on the computer. Um, and it's very nice to be able to do that. Just type on the keyboard, converts it to CW and you can adjust the speed and everything right on the computer. Okay, so I'm kind of jumping around here a bit, but so we'll go ahead and tune around. And so you want to get it so the, the station is right on the green as close as possible, especially during a contest because people are using narrow filters. If you're not within their range, then they won't hear you. We'll call him in just a second. I just wanted to write his call sign down. K9BWI.
Okay, so anyway, just contacted him. It was a nine station, probably like uh, Michigan, Wisconsin area. I'm not sure exactly, but um, I didn't fully explain how this uh, tuning indicator works. The blue light means that there's an audio signal being detected. So usually that will flash with the code that's being heard. And that's what you want it to do. If it's lit, if it's lit continuously, then that's not right. Like right now, it's lit continuously, so you have to, I have to adjust the RF gain, the audio output, so that it's flashing with the code or whatever, whatever signal is being heard. And yeah, so then basically you just adjust um, the frequency to match so that the green light is being illuminated. Okay, I think this is enough information about this. If, it, if you have any questions, uh, comments, you can visit my website, uh, either radioset-go.com or my call sign, which is w1jsb.com. Okay, thanks.